guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I have a tutorial on how the VolleyWrite app works. So today I'm gonna to go through all the details of the VolleyWrite app. This is a, an app to use electronic scoring. It will produce a score sheet for you, a libero tracker. All your score sheets can be produced directly in this app. It's a great way to easily understand the game and to better understand the scoring. And today I'm gonna to go through all the different details of the app and all the features that the app has. This is a paid app, so you do have to buy a subscription service to it, but I am gonna go through all the details on how that works and and how long of the service you can buy. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely the subscribe button, turn on the bell so you get notified every time I upload, I post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, and we're gonna dive into all the features of this app. So when you first open the app, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see um, just kind of like an opening welcome screen. It has a few options on it. It does allow you to load your last match if you want to do that. Um, you can also extend your license on here. So if you do, you have to pay for that license. It's about $50 a season and a season six months. So our license is going through March. Um, and it does list some other things you have. You have your rules, your match tab, your roster tab, your set tab, and then your score libero and reports tab. And we're going to go through some of these. Um, a big key for this is your set tab. That's where you're going to be doing all of your score keeping Thing, and I will go through that with some film so we can watch a game and kind of go through all of that. Starting off with the rules tab, this is up to you on what you want to put into this. So you can put in a warm up. So if you have a specific warm up that you want your team to do, you can write this down, save it just so you can refer back to something if you want to do that. You can also set a time for warm up. So if you click this warm up button, you can put in like the different protocols that you want for your warm up if you want time and stuff. And it will, the app will do some timers for you, which is really nice. If you go to set play, this is where you can set up the different information for your sets. Um, so if you play best of five, if you want to play all five, if you play best two out of three, all of that you can set up. And then you can set up if you have, um, like for us specifically, we play uh, non-deciding sets of 25, deciding sets of 15. So you can kind of put that all in there. You can put the amount of time of timeouts. You can put the amount of time that you have between sets. All of that. Everything that you need is on here. Um, so you have everything. I, we like to track the floor captain. You don't have to. All of those rules are on there. That's kind of the basic set play. And then for the personal, this is some more details that you have based on your league. So I have added in how many substitutions we have. The amount of liberos our league's allowed. So it's definitely specific for your league. But you can set up multiple rules in here where it's says name that's where you can change the different rules that you have in this so if you have certain rules that you like to play with you can change that in the name so all you have to do is click on the name and you can type in um, different things so we have this one as NFHS but you can change um, different ones that you want and it will let you know if something's not saved um, to make sure that you save it and all the different details of your league for scoring options we use NFHS because for high school but you can use USA volleyball scoring so this will pull up some of those different score sheets and I will have linked up in the icon card um the paper score sheets for some of these different leagues i've done both the nfs nfhs ncaa and usa volleyball so if you're interested in any of those i will have the links but this just gives you some different styles of setup for your scoring um and then you can also set up on um, when you want to like verify the score when you want to verify the servers all of that any kind of warnings you have you can put on there for email setup, you can put the results, you can send them out to parents, you can send them out to other coaches if you want to add that. And then customization is if you have some other links that you want to make sure that they're added in, you can do that. Um, and then you also have all these different rule options. So you can choose between different specific ones. Um, I put in my high school rules, um, but you can put in anything. So you have non-varsity, varsity, different divisions as things go. So this is like my league specific one. So you can put in all of that. Your next tab is your match tab, and this is where you put in all your games for the season. So you can open previous games, so I did a test game um, just to play around with the app, but you can put in the match names, the, you can put the referees in here, where it is, all this. This is kind of the information that you would have on the top of your score sheet. That's what this is. This is all the information that you would generally have on the top of your score sheet. So you can put in different names, the site, you can type in, like, you can put it, like, 
home court you can put whatever the site is this is the varsity one all of that you can put everything in that you need score is usually your own name so you can just put in your own name for the score all of that and you can save it you can add it to so if you want to go in ahead of time you can put in all your match information save each one of the matches and then you're able to go back and open them i'm going to just clear them out for right now um because we don't really need them in there right now but I'm going to, when I fully go through a game with you guys, I will put that in. But I'm just going to go through each one of the tabs and then we'll put in all of our information. Rosters, to start off, you're going to put in each team's roster. So this is the full roster. So you want to make sure you get a full roster from the coach. So you can go in and do that. So this one has all the numbers. If you want to put names in, you can do that as well. And then you can open up each team's roster. So if you play the team multiple times, you can open up their previously used roster. But you have everything. If somebody's out for a day, you can just up untoggle them to say whether or not they're present there all of that which is nice to have and then you have everybody already there the set tab i'm going to skip that for right now that's when you're actually scoring the tab the score sheet tab will show you everything that you need um so here's on the top it does show you that information that you put in and then it will fill in all your details as we play you have your libero tab that will track all your libero subs and then the final tab is your reports and this is a good tab to go through after it will give you a summary of last matches this is kind of like a full record of everything you can filter it by certain teams if you want to just show like different teams that play um, if you had any web links all the stuff that you want to all the extra info that you're going to put in, you can see that on, on here. The really one that we use on this is the history to give you some information. And then right after the game, it will give you some summary once you're doing that. Um, and now we're going to dive into really setting this whole game up. So doing our match tab, our roster tab, and our then going in and actually scoring the set. So you can see how that is all scored. So to start off, we have our film, and for this one, I'm just going to put the site as home. This game specifically is a varsity game. Um, we're going to just put in ref names and then your score name, so that information's all in there. And then you can just save that. Um, you do need a name, so we'll just call this test game. Um, and there you go, everything's saved in for that first game. Then you're going to go to your rosters tab. Um, I'm just going to clear these out so you can see how I did it. Um, you can either physically enter in a name and all that, or if you've already played these teams, you can put it in. I'm going to be putting in the two teams. I'm going to put Test W, because that's going to be the white team. And then the B is, Test B is the blue team. That's how we're going to show them off on here. But you have both of your rosters in. You want to make sure you have the full roster, whether those are just the people that play in the set or not. You want that full full team roster. And then once you have that in, you are ready to start the set. So it's going to say start, touch here. All you do is start there. For this one, the home team, which is the white team, has serve, but they are on the opposite court. So I'm setting this up so that it matches the, what you're seeing. So you can just flip back and forth on which court they're on. Home team is going to be on the right-hand side, and then your other team is on the left-hand side. And then we are going to go in and put in our lineups. 
So for this, we have number seven is our first server. So you just click on that number and put them in the first spot. And then we have number 12 is our second server. Then we have 29 is our third server. We have 14. Then we have six. And then finally, we have 28. That's the lineup for this side. And then our captain is number 14. And this would all be on the lineup sheet that you would get. And then for the blue team, we have number eight. Then we have number 32. Then we have number 15. We have number three, number 31. And then finally, number 25. And for this team, the libero's number is number 34, um, which I don't see on this roster, so I am just gonna add that in. This is a good way, if there's something you missed, you can add that in. So all I'm gonna do is click Add Player, and they are number 34. Um, so I'm just adding that in as another one. It was just more of an error on my part. I didn't add them to the roster, so that does allow you to do that if you need to. And then for the white team, the libero is number 21. And now once all this is set up, the only thing I'm missing is a captain on this side, and that is number eight so we're just going to scroll down to number eight set that up as your captain and then you're good to go once all those lineups in you're ready to start and we're going to start our play and now that our volleyball is starting we did see that there was already a libero sub so i'm going to pause that right now and the libero sub came on for number 31 so all you do is click on the libero and then you click on number 31 and then the sub is there it's as easy as that for subs which is nice um, and now we're ready to play some volleyball so it's going to say has number seven contacted the serve the whistle is blown and the serve has been contacted so you just say yes and then the play point is played out and it's as easy as once a team scores a point all you do is click on which team got it so the point is played out and the white team scored it so all you do is click point and it goes towards the white team and it's going to ask you again have they contacted the serve and then you just wait it out okay the whistle has been blown and you have your next serve and the serve is contacted you click yes and then you play out the point at like that it's really easy to understand it's pretty self-explanatory on a lot of the things on this app it does show you a lot okay so on this one the blue team got it so you just click point and it automatically rotates each side of the court so you don't have to worry about that it's doing a lot of the work for you which is really nice now you have okay the serve is up and once the serve is contacted you just say yes they contacted the serve they play out the point and okay white messed up so you have blue point again and you just click on yes it's as easy as that it makes it nice and easy to follow um you don't have to worry about much a lot of it is pretty easy to follow um it's walking you through everything okay whistle balls contacted all you say is yes and then the point is played out again okay now that one's white's point and now it's gonna say, okay, they rotated, so now it's 12 serve, as easy as that. It's now, it automatically does all that rotation for you, which is nice, it makes it a lot easier when you're playing and doing everything. It allows you to pay a little bit more attention to the game as it walks you through a lot of this stuff. So the ball is contacted, the point is then played out, and then once the point is finished, so we're hitting off the outside, and white receives the point again. So you just click point, as easy as that. And as this game's going on, it is producing the score sheet. So you just click on the score sheet tab, it's producing that. You click on the libero tab, it's producing your libero sheet. It's doing that all while the game is played, which is a nice feature. You don't have, you can keep flipping back and forth if you want to check those out. If you're used to the paper scoring, you can see that. And then you just keep saying, okay, the serve was contacted, and then you play the point out until something happens, and then you just click on whichever team has the point for that game. You can also see in the middle the underlines on 14 and 8. That means that they are the captain, so you have that on the court, so you know. And then as this point gets played out, and it is White's point, you just click on point, and then it will ask again if they've contacted the serve. You can also see where it says L and replace. That's how you know who's in for the libero, or if they are in to replace somebody, you have that all right there on there, so you don't have to worry about it. You know which person they went on for, and that's why it's covered in blue, is because it is the libero on the court. Okay, another 
point for the white you just keep playing it out and it's always going to make sure have the contact the serve you'll say yes or no makes it nice and easy to make sure that you have everything you do have the ability to click on a replay if that ever happens um, anything that you might need on that is on here penalties comments if there's anything you want to write in you can put anything in which is a nice you say yes they've contacted the serve and if there was ever an error you can go in and manly manually change something so there's a point and now is 31 on the court so you see the liberos coming off the court 31's coming back on and once they come on you can say yes they're back on the court okay and the libero staying off the side they're not going back to serve you don't have to worry about that so 32 is serving and then the whistle has been blown and balls contacted you just go yep so it kind of walks you through some of those subs especially the libero subs it makes sure that everything goes smoothly and everything happens the way it should and i will show you what a regular substitution looks like as well okay and the point goes to the white team and there you go now 29 is serving but instead the libero is coming on to serve so i'm going to pause the video here 29 is not serving you have your libero so all you do is click on your libero and then you click on 29 and the libero is going to be serving in that spot so you just click play again on the video and okay the whistle's been blown and once that ball has been contacted by the libero you're going to see that little triangle appear. That means that's because that's where the libero serve and the libero can only serve in that spot. So you have that written down as what can happen. And then they got the point and now 15 is serving. Once they contact the serve, you just say yes and continue to play out the libero staying on the court. Okay, now it is this team serve. 14 is now serving and you're going to wait until there is a contact and there you go the contact has been made and they're going to play out the point and once they finish playing out the point and okay now it's blues point so you just click on that blues point now it's three serving and there is a substitution so i'm going to pause it right here the substitution we have on the court is number 10 is coming in for number seven so all we're going to do and this is on the white team is you're going to click on number 10 in your substitution list and you're going to click on number seven you will see that they put that little seven in the corner that's so you know who is also in that spot so when seven comes on later again you know where they're supposed to be on the court and then we just continue on so they've made the substitution um they're positioning themselves in number 10 is coming on the court as that hitter on the outside and number three is now the one serving so we go around okay number three is contacted you say yes and then we play out the point of volleyball this i will say this walks you through a lot of it this is pretty much all everything you need to know it walks you through anything you might possibly need to know okay the points have played out white gets the point and now it's number six turn to serve it's walking you through most of this information um it's gonna ask you lots of questions you can make it so that it doesn't verify the server if you don't want to do every one but i like that it walks you through everything this is good if you have multiple people doing the score it allows it to be a little bit more easy to understand and it's walking you through everything so you have contacted the serve yes and then we play out the point and okay and now it is blues point so a key on this one right here is now that the blue got the point the libero is actually going to go back and serve there's a little confusion on the court but the libero is going to go back and serve and go on for number 31 and number 32 is just going to come on as that libero sub because the libero would have been coming off but now they're coming on as that libero sub so it's as easy as that. You just have to make sure that you track all those libero subs. Sometimes the libero comes on and off at random times with the liberos going back and serving and you don't have to worry about it. Once they click contact, yes, and that little triangle will appear and then the point is played out. And then after this point, I'm gonna take a pause and I'm just gonna show you a couple other things in this app that don't actually happen in this set. Okay, so the point is played out and they get the point. So I'm gonna pause our video. So you are able, if you do need to change something, if you miss something, you can go back and manually change something. If there was a timeout or something you want, you can just go back in through all the plays and figure out where something happened that went wrong so if you miss like a sub or something you can go back and manually change some of those actions if you need to another thing you can do is if you say the white team was to call a timeout right now you just click timeout and it has your time 
timer on and if for some reason the little bear goes in or out you do have that ability to like change that really easily if that happens because that's one thing that's going to happen possibly during the timeout so you can always pause this and just finish at it early you will see one thing it does count is your timeouts used and it also does count your substitution so you don't have to worry about that it shows you everything you need if there's an injury you can add that in add in different timeouts if you need it for the injury so it allows you to do that as well Okay, we can say that number 29 was injured and then we're turning back on the just so you can know anything that happens in the game your score sheet will keep track of all of this it has different timeouts of what happened and it will show you everything you need just like your paper score sheet it's creating everything you need right here on that same with your libero it has all your different substitutions if you ever miss a sub or something you can go back into that manual edit and change anything that you need but that's kind of the basics and then as the game goes on so i'm just going to say they contacted the serve um and then the points were played out so I'm just going to play out the points to get to the end of our game just so you can see what it looks like at the end. So we're now at 23 to 8. I just added a bunch of points so you could see that, um, see the end of it. So when you click point, we're now at 24 to 8. It will let you know that it is set point just so that you're aware. You can say they contacted the serve and if they receive the point again, this is going to happen when the game's over. It's going to say test B1, 25 to 8. And then you're able to go to the next step. If you want to check out the score sheet, you can look at that. I have it set up to verify at the end of the sets or at the end of the whole match. You can verify it if you wanted to in the between. It also has that interval set up for the timing based on what you set up in the rules so that we have three minutes in between. It's set up to do that. And then you just click next set and it's already, it's switched courts for them. Everything is already ready if you need to continue and you can just click done and you can add in your different lineups and be ready for that second set. So that's the basics of everything in the app. You can see your score sheet is produced for both sets one and two. You have your libero tracking for sets one and two. You can just toggle between them. And then when you're done, it will have your reports. You can see the summary of the current game we're in. And then your history will have any reports from all of that. And that's kind of everything that it will show you. So if you have any questions about that, definitely let me know um, in the comments. I'd be happy to go through anything else or answer any questions you have. But that's pretty much the basics of the whole Volley Right app. And if there's certain ones you want to see more. This is just one quick set and I've only showed you a couple points, but I would definitely recommend you watching some gameplay, whether it's your own video or even just trying it out at some games. It's definitely helpful to kind of go through the actions of it to better understand it, but that's really the basics of the app. So if you guys found this video helpful, if you have any questions again, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If there's any features I didn't go over that you're looking for more information on, definitely let me know that as well. I think this is a good alternative to paper scoring and it allows you to produce that digital score sheet and it allows you just to see a little bit more understanding of the game. It definitely walks you through more features than like if you were just doing paper scoring, you'd have to do it all on your own. So I definitely like it in that way. Um, I'm looking forward to using it for our season and if you have any questions, again, definitely let me know. I would love to give you my feedback on how I think the apps work for our, my team and how it, it has been going using it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and i will see you guys later